to the Connections Housing Construction Kickoffs, where by the end of this year, this building right in front of us here will become home for 223 formerly homeless neighbors. We cannot see the homeless community as a burden. Instead, we must look for ways that we can influence their lives in a positive way, in turn improving our society. What's more, we're turning an underutilized, blighted building into a place where people can come off the streets and begin turning their lives around. Our city's ultimate goal is to eliminate homelessness, and this project moves us a little bit closer to that. And I'd like to thank all the folks who have uh, worked so hard to make this happen, including our two council members here who have really gone out on a limb on it, and then all the rest of the folks, Rick, all of you who have done such a tremendous job. Thank you very much. And of course, I think what's most important is the Path Depot portion of this. A one-stop service center that will offer employment readiness, veterans assistance, hygiene, personal care, substance abuse treatment, and many, many other services. And of course, the new headquarters of the Downtown Family Health Center, which provides comprehensive medical and mental health services to those that most need it. When Connections Housing opens at the end of this year, it will change the way we deliver services to the homeless in San Diego. And for all my housing friends in the in, as I say, in the room, uh, in the parking structure uh, today, you know that it starts with housing with supportive housing units, special needs units, interim housing beds, combining that housing with critical wraparound services that will improve the client's chances of successfully rebuilding their lives and getting off the streets once and for all. That's what we're doing today. That's the change that we're making. It is truly a partnership that reflects the entire community. But I think we also have to recognize that without the vision of the San Diego City Council, that actually set this out over three years ago, this would not have happened. This is a result of civic leadership, but also city leadership. The San Diego Housing Commission, in order to sustain this residential program so that homeless San Diegans can rebuild their lives, we will be directing two connections housing close to $1 million annually in housing voucher support. This is an opportunity to rededicate ourselves, to expand our partnerships, to find new tools and new opportunities to solve the problems of the less fortunate and to make San Diego the great downtown that we know it all can become. Um, our community and state department group here in California works with the county of San Diego and the low-income health care program that the county has in order to provide services to the incident here in, in San Diego County. One of the special commitments we have at Family Health Centers of San Diego is serving the homeless and that is what led us today to be part of the Connections Housing Project. We are the lead grantee for the Health Care for the Homeless Project, which brings millions of federal dollars to San Diego every year to help cover the costs of health care.